everyone good night come on I want you to share the life I am a little bit late my God but I am here tonight to give God glory honor and praise I don't know about you but if you are not here to give God praise you're at the wrong place glory to God so if you're here to give him praise I want you to start sending up that hallelujah send up that praise the Lord send up that thank you Jesus Come on, I want you to share the life with everybody so that they can come on. Hallelujah, glory to God. Amen, praise God. I bless you all tonight. Yes, thank you all for joining, for tuning in. Thank you all for waiting. The waiting is over. And I am here tonight, praise God. Before we even get any further in the service, Glory be to God. Hallelujah. You know we're on the topic tonight. My body belongs to God. Hey, there are some folks that don't want to hear that. But I can't come every day and preach to you telling you that you shall reap prosperity 
Glory to God, knowing that we are to talk about the temple. Hallelujah. We are not talking about the physical temple tonight, but we are talking about uh, the spiritual temple. Hallelujah. Come on, everybody. I want you to share the life tonight. Somebody need a word. Glory be to God. We have been our chief apostle coming on tonight. I greet you all in the wonderful name of Jesus. Time will not allow me to greet and to call everyone's name because I am already late. Amen. But I want to greet those who are on YouTube platform and those who are on Facebook tonight. I greet you in this man named Jesus, our soon and coming king. Yes, you see me sweating. Amen. Praise God. Canada is very hot tonight. Hallelujah. We have, um, let me tell you, today, today is humid. Uh, it, it, it is very hot today. Glory be to God. But I am here anyhow. Glory to God. Amen. Before we get any further into the service, before we start dancing, before we start praising God, hallelujah, I want to read our night Psalms. Bless the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody say, my body belongs to God. Amen. Praise God. I can hear you. I can hear you. I can see you. I can see you. You got to type in the comment section so I can know that you're with me tonight. My body belongs to God. I want to greet, uh, hallelujah, uh, the visionaries myself. Praise God. The vice president, uh, hallelujah, minister Pinnock, hallelujah, secretary, evangelist uh, Miller tonight, and those who are members of Come Let's Reason Together. I want to greet you in this matter. Man named Jesus, our soon and coming King. Praise God. Yes, my body belongs to God. I don't know, hallelujah, who have your body. I don't know who your body belongs to, but tonight, if you're on this live, I come to tell you that your body, hallelujah, belongs to nobody but God. Bless the name of Jesus, Susan Hunter. Yes, sir. Hallelujah, Sir Russell, Claudine Mullins. Let me not call names because I'm gonna take I'm gonna take up too much time. Mackenzie, praise the name of Jesus. All you guys, I greet you in the name of Jesus. Yes, my body belongs to God. June Wills, good to have you in the house, woman of God. We sign Psalms 150 in the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Holy Spirit. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Carolines. Amen. My mother, praise God. Hallelujah. Minister Abraham. Glory to God. Amen. Let's just read the scripture. Bishop Bolan, I greet you, woman of God. Praise God. Amen. Psalms, Psalms 150. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. Glory to God. Praise. Hallelujah. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. So praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise him with the sounds of the trumpet. That's what we're going to do tonight. Hey, glory to God. Praise him with the, hallelujah, pelstry and the harp. Praise him with the timbrel and dance. Praise him with string instrument. Come on, everybody. Come on, everybody. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Holy hallelujah. String instrument or our organs, praise God, praise him upon the loud cymbals, praise him upon the high sounding cymbals. And then it says, let everything that I breath tonight, hallelujah, everything, if your body belongs to God, I want everybody on this live tonight to say, praise he the Lord. Hey, Jesus of mercy, let everything that I breath I, I, I feel a preaching, I feel a preaching coming on tonight. Uh, let everything that I break praise the Lord. Uh, my God, my body don't belong to the devil. My body don't belong to sickness. Uh, my body don't belong to pain. Uh, my body don't belong to your ex. Uh, your body don't belong to your lover that left a long time ago. Uh, your body belongs to God. Uh, Hallelujah, it did not belong to anybody, huh? but the spiritual body, come on, somebody, 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 your spiritual side 
hallelujah, that makes up this body. It belongs to God. Come on, everybody. I want you to share the love. I feel God in this place already. Hallelujah. I feel God in this place already. But we, you know how we do it. You know how we do it tonight. I'm not going to have to lose myself. Hey, God, I'm not even going to lose myself tonight. But I want to keep still because I want to hear a word from somebody on tonight. Amen. From the preacher. The preachers are coming. Glory be to God. Are you ready tonight, church? I want you to send me. I'm, we are doing something different tonight. Amen. I want you to send me a flag from where you're representing. Hallelujah. Whether you're from Jamaica, where, wherever you're from. Praise God, wherever you're from, I want you to send your send in your flags. Glory to God, when we start to play this song, I want you to send in your flags from wherever you're from. We're getting ready to praise God. I want when you send in your flags. Amen. I want you to do the sign that do like this. Yes. The sign. Amen. Praise God. Yes. I want you to do that sign. Amen. I want you to put it alongside Amen. Where you're coming, where you're representing from, whether you're from Jamaica. If you're in America and you're from Jamaica, I want you to put America and Jamaica. If you're in England and you're from anywhere you're from, glory to God. And if you're from two country, I'm from Canada, but I was born in Jamaica, praise God. So it will be Jamaica and Canada. <laughs> Amen. Glory to God. God bless you tonight. We are going on right on. That is all I know. Praise God. Come on, everybody. We're getting nerdy to praise God. Amen. 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 Praise God. Praise God. Hello, Zion. Hello. Yes, Canada, Jamaica. Jamaican in our house tonight, you know. Canada and Jamaican. Oh God, oh God. Come on, people of God. Jamaican. <laughs> Oh, no. 
Let me tell you something, when we come for, when we come for praise God, you know Me come for praise God, me not care Me not care who they around me, me come for praise God When me come for praise God, me come for praise God Me get mad when me come for praise God Come on now people of God My God, I feel God in this place tonight Are you ready, are you ready? Are you ready, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh! God. Jesus. Jesus.
God, my God.
Can everybody praise him? Yes, sir. Come on, everybody, give God some praise. Come on, give him 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 some praise. You don't start giving him praise yet. Come on, give him some praise. Come on, I want to see a show, hallelujah. I want to see a show, glory. I want to see a show, thank you, Jesus. I want to see a show, he's worthy. I want to see a show, he's king of kings. And he's lords of lords. He's the mighty God. He's the everlasting father. He's the prince of peace. He is El Shaddai, he's God of all plenty, he's the whole sufficient one, he's God only son, come on you can say Jesus, you are still more than enough, are you hearing me somebody, give God some praise, give him a praise, give the Lord a praise, mighty God of Daniel, Jesus, I come to talk to you tonight, oh God Almighty, some of you might not like the topic tonight, hallelujah, but I come to talk to you tonight, hallelujah, glory to God, my body belongs to God, are you hearing me somebody, nobody not to take ownership of your body, are you hearing me somebody, nobody not to take ownership of at this body because this body belongs to God. Are you hearing me somebody? It is he that has made us and not we are ourselves. Oh glory be to God. I come to tell you tonight present that body. Hallelujah as a living sacrifice. Holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. I say your body no belongs to the devil. Your body no belongs to your husband. Your body no belongs to your wife. Hallelujah. Your body no belongs to your mother, nor your father, nor your sister, nor your brother. Are you hearing me, somebody? But this body that I have, it belongs to God. I come to tell you tonight that even when you wrestle hallelujah spiritually and flesh glory to God your body still belongs to God can I tell you something tonight hallelujah we know that we're not perfect we know we're not walking at the statues of Jesus every time we know so we can lick hallelujah we know we can say this word that the spirit don't get connected with God all the time the spirit and man no mesh all the time but I come to tell you tonight that your body belongs to God and even when you tell me say your spirit no always strive with man hallelujah and all the time the spirit upon you I can understand that we mess up when we're ready but I come to tell you tonight uh, that even in your messed up stage uh, your body still belongs uh, to God tonight uh, I come to tell you tonight uh, that your body belongs to God my body is a temple of God uh, and this is where God dwell hallelujah even when I messed up uh, Glory to God, once I submerge, hallelujah, once I submerge under the water and I come up back victorious, I come up back a child of God, I come up back royal priesthood, I come up back holy nation, I come up back, I come to tell you tonight, you, you know I hear the word here tonight. You don't want to hear this word tonight. Hallelujah. Too much time. Oh, glory to God that we get confused. We don't know who we body belongs to. But I come to tell you tonight that your body not belongs to the devil. Your body belongs to God. No demons from hell can touch this body. 
I heard him when he said to Satan, when him go, when the Son of Man appeared to God, and Jew present his offering to God, I hear the devil when he communicate with the Father, him say, God, don't you notice a servant, Job, him say, yes, I know me servant, are you hearing me somebody, I know me servant, Job, me know somebody belongs to me, no matter what you do, hallelujah, him not turn to you, no matter what kind of sickness, him not say, God, no day, are you hearing me somebody, Radabasat Rabasanda. Come on, oh, people of God. You're sick in your body. And you jump to say, God, no day. Hallelujah, you're feeling pain. And you ask God why. Come on, oh, people of God. Your body belongs to God. So if you feel pain, I him you have to talk to. Hallelujah, no make no sense. You don't believe in him. Because if you don't believe when you feel pain, the pain won't leave your body. But I come to tell you tonight, your body belongs to God. My God. Itatarabasanda. Hallelujah, you can't chew anything you want to chew. But if God no say so, He can't touch me. You can't call me name all you want. You can't say all thoughts are negative about me. But if God no say so, Sister in our work, you can't say what you want to say. You can't do what you want to do. Oh, God Almighty, am I talking to the church tonight? Hallelujah, glory to God. You can't say what you want to say. When you see me, I walk, I go to church. You can't chop me all you want. Tell me, say me not live no life. Tell me, say me not walk good. Tell me, say me not talk good. Tell me, say look pan in you pan she. She a preach the gospel and look how she tan. It's alright. Because once I got a relationship with my father in heaven. Oh, glory to God, I him alone me answer to. Come on, somebody! A time for you to stop fear, people. Too much bully in a church. Hallelujah, glory to God. Too much bully the on the roadside. Too much bully just a bully you and a watch your soul. But God knows your heart and not man. I feel to preach in this place tonight. But me gonna lift it, me gonna lift it. I want to preach tonight, you know. I want to preach tonight. Hallelujah. Some of them talk about you. Some of them scandal your name. Some of them are carry go bring come. Some of them only gossip. Some of them love to say sister Jane not live no life. Some of them love to say Susan not go out with nothing. But you don't know when me in my secret closet. You don't know when me a chat to God. Hallelujah. So if you don't know, shut up your mouth. Hallelujah, because I have a one-to-one -one relationship. And because me and you know in a nothing. That no means say me and God now go through our uh, one preach. He no means say God and me now have no relationship. I come to talk to the church tonight. Chat me all you want. Because when he come to God, and me alone a fiance to him. So my body belongs to God. It at the temple. Jesus of mercy. Rada Baba Basataya. Oh Dada Rada Basanda. We are too much easy man schism. In adios, God. Too much bully in adios. That's why some are we. When we got church. Hallelujah. Heart free with him. Praise God. And sometimes you wonder why the sister now open up her mouth and praise God. You wonder why the brother now say nothing. Because he know what you say yesterday. He know you did not chat him. So in prayer shut up. But I come to tell you tonight. 
when them chat you, all the better praise him. When them scandal your name, all the better praise him. When them not like you, all the better praise him. Jesus, my God, oh God, may me be myself tonight, no man. May me be myself tonight. Your body belongs to God. When you walk up in a church and you're getting ready to praise Him, and you know Sister Jane says something about you, Lord Jesus, look to the hills. Why? From whence come at your help? Knowing that your help cometh from God, which made the heaven and earth. You know God church to watch people. Your body belongs to God. Mighty God of Daniel. Mighty God of Daniel. Hey! Lord Jesus. Some of we worry about the sickness. And we forget for prayer. Jesus help me now, Father God. Lord help me now, Father. Some of we forget for prayer. Some of we forget for prayer. You wonder why you have so much sickness in your body. Because when you get up a man in time, you remember if you don't pay your knees. And when pain starts rock your body, you start to ask God why. Lord God, me want to talk, you know. I want to preach tonight, you know. The blood of Jesus is against this headache. The my body belongs to God. And tonight I'm declaring his word. And the blood of Jesus is against you. My God. Sometimes you have to chat to your body. Lord Jesus. Sometimes you have to talk to it. Because sometimes you want to do its own thing. Oh. Shatarabasande de Leo Sataya. Me say sometimes you want to do its own thing. But tell it, say, no, every day you're going to do your own thing. My God, because this body was built as an instrument to praise God. Father of Asanda, now for them wonder why I come up with come less reason together. And for me, I God give to me. How you hear me, somebody? So eat me all you want. Oh, glory to God, you can't eat me all you want. But as long as me, I use this body, I praise God, I may not watch no face. Lord Jesus, talk to me now, man. Talk to me now, people of God. As long as me, I use this body for praise Almighty God, then no demon from the pit of hell can tell me likewise. I come to praise Him. He said, let everything that I break, praise ye the Lord. Him say, make man. Oh, glory to God to reason with man. To chat with man. To have a conversation. To commune with man. Lord God, I want to talk to you now tonight. Radabasanda. Mighty God of Daniel. There are things that God created this. Touch yourself. Touch your body. I hear your body, yes. Touch your body tonight. Say if God never created this, and God created it. And if God created this, oh glory to God, he know if he fix it. Mighty God. Who be a man no need to fix it? Science man no need to fix it. What a mother, father, mother, who you want to call? Them no need to fix this. Because when you have a one-to-one -one connection, with the true and living God. Hallelujah. And you not dip your hand. In a iniquity. Then God had to fix a man. If you have pain in your foot. Then my God will heal you. If you have pain in your hand. Then my God will heal you. If you have arthritis. In your back. My God will heal you. If you have a problem. My God will heal you. If you have diabetes. And you are eat right. And you are do everything right. And you call upon God. My God will heal you. This a body. Oh Jesus. 
My body is a temple of the Lord. Me don't talk. I need a word tonight. Radabasataya. Some of we wonder why we can't get healing. Some of we wonder why. Hallelujah. When we call upon God. Hey! Mighty God. And God come like him now fix it. When last you go down by your knee. When last you get up off of your bed. And go down by your knee. And say God for you I live. And for you I die. You say I want to get up every day. I want to want God to fix. God me need a job. God me need a house. God me need this. God me need that. And you just a send your body heavy anyway. And you just a fling it so and a fling it so. Me me talk to you tonight no man. Me say you just a fling it so. How you just a fling it away ya. How you no know say the body belongs to God. And every time you talk about God me need this and me need that. And you just a walk and a fling so. Hallelujah God I tell you say. Present your body. As a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is a reasonable service. I hear Paul says, I am a prisoner. I want to preach tonight, you know. I want to talk tonight. Oh God, I feel like I want to talk tonight, you know. Let me tell you something. You can't walk one time. You can't confuse. Hallelujah, I know who you are serve. And expect God to do it for you. Tomorrow morning, you're on the other side. And today, you're on God's side. But me come to tell you tonight. Choose it this day. Who you shall serve. Hallelujah. If I be, I'll serve him. Hey, God. If I be, I'll serve him. Oh, glory to God. I hear the word said, Give unto Caesar what is due to Caesar. Give unto God what belongs to God. Hallelujah. Today me present my body as a living sacrifice. Not only today. Hallelujah, but tomorrow. But Thursday and Friday and Saturday and Sunday morning when me go up in a church me supposed to charge up with the anointing of God. Hallelujah, so God can move like him never moved before. Tap fling your body there so and there so and serve God the right way. Some of you know why I hear the messenger tonight. But me sorry. If me touch you say ouch. Lord God, me have no apology. If me touch you say ouch. And every day you can come preach. Hallelujah, say God. Say God is going to heal you. Oh God, say God is going to give you a big house. And every day you can talk. And say God, I'm going to give you a call. If you wait on the Lord, He shall renew or command somebody. A time when if you talk up, because me say to you tonight, and a heavy time, hallelujah, you go walk. Let me tell you something, man. Someone in a church, one on a date, oh glory to God, I don't talk about a sex. I don't talk about a when you're not going to meet each other. I don't talk about a when is the next, when is the next, um, what you call it, what you call it. I don't talk about a when is the next date. When is the next, when we're, we're not going to meet again so we can have dinner. Oh God Almighty. When are the next time when we can come at church? And we can't do the little, we can't, you know, we can't be at church. And we can't do the little thing and little thing. I want to talk to you tonight, no man. Hallelujah, you forget. Oh glory to God. That you're supposed to present your body as a sacrifice. Hallelujah, now every day. Hallelujah, when you get up, you talk to your spouse. Oh glory to God, I only come on. I feel I'm going to talk to Lord Jesus Christ. Roger, I'm going to come out, you know. And every time. 
You have to talk to your little man. Oh, glory to God, I talk about sex and all these lovely things. Oh, God, but sometimes you have to get down in the world. Oh, God Almighty, this a bishop, you never tell you, say, Hallelujah, say, you can't do it. But me, I tell you tonight, stop feed the flesh. Hallelujah, feed the spirit. Sometimes you, you have to feed it. Glory to God. Sometimes you have to feed the flesh, the spirit. And stop feeding the flesh. Because flesh will always remain flesh. But tonight your body is the temple of the living God. Lord God, me sorry people, me sorry. Oh Jesus. But me have to talk as how it is. Me have to talk as how it is. God Almighty man. And day, every day you want to do this. And you want to do that. And when your boyfriend call you. Or your girlfriend call you. You can't even read a scripture. The way you hold your body get connected to the man. Or get connected to the woman. That you forget even that you are Christian. You can't even pray when you're done. Lord God, I feel like I want to preach tonight. You know. Now God know that your body belongs to God. You can't even preach when you're done. You can't even pray when you're done. Oh, glory to God. Some of you are talking not talk about young people alone. Some of you are big woman and big man. You don't love to do, you know, do the things them. Come and talk to you. I do the things them. But God have his eyes watching you everywhere you turn. But I come to tell you tonight. That is not a I minute. Mean, I tell you, see enough to do it. Glory to God. I never tell you, see enough to do anything. Mighty God, but may I tell you tonight that you have to respect the spirit that lives inside of you. Hey Amen. And every day, your body fear jump. I want to talk tonight, no man. You know what? I'm going to play music. Maybe play the music so the preacher can come on. We have a pastor, chief apostle. My God, we have chief apostle. May I be myself tonight? Chief apostle is on the live. My apologies, chief apostle. Jesus have mercy. Chief of Pastor is on the live tonight. Amen. I'm Minister Pinock. Minister Pinock, want to come on right now. I'm going to call Minister Pinock. I want to talk to you tonight. When I preach them a sermon, and I'm more in a church. Oh, glory to God. When I preach this a message, and I'm more. Are you hearing me, somebody? Because some, some of we old people in our church, the older folks. Glory to God. I mean, I'm throwing a stone upon nobody. Hallelujah, it's me not throwing a stone upon nobody, me say. But on the love it jump down upon the young people, them. Hallelujah, enough of the young people don't know what I do in the dark. How you hear me, somebody, but I come to tell you tonight, your body belongs to God. So stop chop down upon the young people, them. And search yourself. Stop pointing your finger. And search yourself. Me are looking at myself. Are you hear me somebody because more often know if me right. Hallelujah because before me can't fix anybody. Me have to fix myself. Lord Jesus. Hey! Your body belongs to God. Radabasa trande bio satire. He shot her babandi satari. And every day you're going to get up and speak in a tongues. And every day you're going to say hallelujah, glory to God. There are days when your body, glory to God, get in the mood to do things. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. But if you know say it wrong, nobody do it. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Because sometimes we get caught up in some situation. And we can't turn around anymore. Oh, glory to God. But you have to remember sometimes. When the spirit be a witness with you and tell us a wrong. Hallelujah, young man and young man, big woman and big man. You better pick up your shoes, pick up your pants, pick up your shirt. And if you have to run out of door naked, you better run. My God. I preach tonight, you know. Some of you don't respect your body. We don't respect the temple. That God dwell in this temple. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. God dwell in this temple. And sometimes you got to give God the best of your service. You have to look. Search your own self. God, get a self-examination, man. 
I say self. I want to say so, hmm. You say self. I wonder if you live right. I wonder if you do the things of God. I wonder if you talk right. I wonder if you I wonder if your hand are going at the right place. I wonder if your body are going at the right place. I wonder, you better wonder. Ask your body. Body! You need to walk right. You need to talk right. You need to live right. Stop biting finger. Because the more you bite, and the more the other finger turn back by you, it means I do something wrong too. In a basatra basanda. Rada baba yandi sitiri. Some of you we want me to come preach every time. Prosperity and wealth. But we don't want to talk about we body we are put with a problem. Oh glory to God. We don't want to talk about we body we are give a problem. Are you hear me somebody? And everybody you need to jump and like. Are you hear me people of God? Sometimes you need to make the spirit search them out. And that's why we fall in a diverse temptation. Because you make your body lead you. Glory to God. We don't talk tonight, you know. Because some people don't want to hear tonight. Mm -hmm. hey. But Paul says, Know that I am a prisoner of the Lord. And when Paul speaks and says that he is a prisoner of the Lord, it means... Glory to God that he can't do his own thing. Amen. Because he trapped. Hallelujah. Is that the spirit completely control his body. So even though he wants to do the evil thing, my God. I believe Paul says, every time I try to do good. Evil present itself. Amen. And what does that mean? Hallelujah. That the spirit. Hallelujah. Sometimes don't have the control. Over this body. Hallelujah. Because the body. Function on its own. But once you have the spirit of God. Inside of you. I tell people all the time. That when God begins to move inside of you and you accept Jesus, yes, you're going to make mistake. But the spirit must not have, hallelujah, half of your body. The spirit supposed to have most, almost all. But that 5%, that 5%, that you have the body the body the spirit should be 95 percent over five percent of flesh are you hearing me that means you have total control over your body amen so when it will to do good hey when you will to do good and evil present itself, hallelujah, that 95% supposed to overshadow the 5%. And mark this people, that that 5%, hallelujah, still have a strong will. Hey, you're not getting what I'm saying tonight. That 5% still have a uh, it, it, it still controls you. It still have a willpower that is so powerful that the 95%, hallelujah, will lose control for the 5%. Hey, I feel like you didn't understand what I just said a while ago. I said that 95%, glory to God, shall take control over the 5%. But because the 5% is so strong and have so much will, it controls sometimes the 95%. But I come to tell you tonight, I don't know who this message is for. It's for me. And I don't come to point finger. 
But I come to tell you tonight that your body belongs to God. The preacher is coming tonight, Lord Jesus. Me over all my time. Come on, people of God. Some of the five minutes pin up for me. Five minutes pin up. Lord God, I apologize. I apologize, Lord Jesus. Have mercy. I'm so sorry. I apologize tonight, Holy Spirit. Lord. Oh God. Come on, people. Tonight, I'm blessed. How are you? How are you? Lord Jesus, what what for going Bishop, you could have just you could have just preached it up. Mr. for going that message tonight. Come on, here in front of the <laughs> I was I was listening, I was enjoying it. You could have just preached, man. <laughs> my God, my God. Oh my Amen. God. Come on, people of God, make welcome our minister, our vice president. Me Glory please. to God, Minister Pinnock. And tonight, in Jesus' greetings, name, Amen. greetings, greetings. I'm not my own. I belong to Jesus. I'm not my own. I belong to Him. 
thinking about Brother Paul. And, and, and you know, Minister Pinock, I love to talk about Paul because Paul was, was somebody that he had a zeal and a desire to serve the Lord. And what I love about Paul is that he didn't stop. When, when he was converted, he didn't just be converted and say he's just going to serve, you know, as, as, as any anybody. But what I love My about God. Paul is he came with the same authority that he had in the world. When he was persecuting the Christians, he came with that same authority, that same confidence, that same boldness for the Lord. And so we get into this scripture now where he's talking about the church in Corinth. And I don't know if you know too much about the church in Corinth, praise God, but the church in Corinth, I need you to understand, praise God, that they were an immoral church. They had no morals, they lost their values, they were walking in immorality, praise God. They were doing everything that they wanted to do their own way. Bless the Lord. Because of that, you get to understand that Paul now had to step in and say, listen, I need to put you all in check. Because I noticed that you guys are not doing what it is you're supposed to do. I noticed that you're allowing the flesh to run the church. I noticed that you're allowing the flesh to run your lives as children of God. You see, as children of God, we ought to be set apart. As children of God, we ought to be a peculiar people, praise God. And so Paul needed to remind the Corinthian church about their conduct. Praise God. I want to greet the spirit of Christ. Bless the Lord. Because you know what? Like, every time when we come on this, on, this, on this platform, bless the Lord, we ought to always want to invite the Lord into the midst. Because it's mm. only when he comes in that we can receive a word. I'm thinking about Paul and I said, you know what? Paul had to address the church. And, and a lot of times we read the scripture and we don't understand because the, the members of the church, there were some who went to Paul themselves and said, listen, Paul, we, we don't like what's going on. Listen, Paul, there's some things going on in the church that we need you to come and correct. And what I love about Paul is he wasn't afraid about the members. He wasn't afraid about what they had to say. All Paul cared about was carrying out the work of the Lord. And when I got to analyze the scripture now, I see that Paul was thinking about it. And he asked mm. them a question. This is what I loved about it, Bishop. He asked them a question. He said, listen, know he not that they which run in a race run it all. He was letting them know, listen, don't think because you're saying that that's it. You need to understand that we're in a race. You need to understand that it's a distance. It's a process that you're going through. And so you need to constantly be putting your body and its members under subjection. It's a daily process. This is why Paul said, I die daily. Because a lot of us think we're saved, Bishop, and that's it. But it's a mm. Process every day the enemy is gonna try to throw darts your way. Every day the flesh is gonna try to tempt you. Every day you're gonna go through things that make you sin, even in your thoughts, even in your deeds, even in your words. You're sinning, praise God. And so it's a reminder to us that we need to put this body under subjection. You know, the topic reminding us that our, our body is not ours, but it belongs unto the Lord. A lot of times you wanna, you wanna, you know, I, I say that people like to. Um, act like they're a companion with God. You know, they want to act like they can do whatever they want and say whatever they want. Uh, and then the Lord is just supposed to be comfortable with that. Uh, and he's just My God. To be with the conduct. Uh, but we need to understand that I believe it's in the book of Peter. Praise God, First Peter, where he says, Be ye holy, for I am holy, as I am holy. You yes. Know, God, you are reminded that we are a representation of the Lord. Yes. So we go, we need to learn how to reflect the qualities and the characteristics of God. I got to thinking about the word where it says uh, that we are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Praise God. And when I got to thinking about that, Bishop, I said, listen, I need to know what a temple really signifies. And when you get into the temple, it's letting you know that that is the house. Praise God for the Holy Spirit. The temple is built to house the Holy Spirit, to house the anointed things of God. And so hey. the temple of the Holy Spirit. We can't be harboring filthiness. We can't be harboring greed, jealousy, envy, strife, all these things of pride and all these things that would prohibit us from remaining clean in the Lord. Yes. Sin would have it like you that you sin every day. If the enemy could have it that you sin every day, he would have it that way. But we need to abide in the Lord. This is why John had said in John 15, Abide in me and I in you. When Christ had said that, praise God. And it was written in John 15. 
pain. It was sent so that we can remember that in order for us to be able to walk circumspect with the Lord, we need to abide in the Lord so that he will abide in us. I got to thinking about Paul and I said, Paul had to preach to them. And what I love about Paul is he said, listen, every man that striving for the mastery is tempered in all things. Jesus. We do it to obtain a corruptible crown. Yes. A crown, meaning that's going to perish. Meaning that that crown does not last forever, praise God. But we are incorruptible. You see, Paul was reminding them, listen, we're running a race. And he was reminding them because in, in Greece, in Athens, praise God, that's where the Olympics started out. And so back then when they were running their races, they were, there was one crown, praise God, and there was one winner, bless the Lord. And so it was a very, very challenging and competitive race, praise God, sometimes to the death. But I want to encourage us today as children of the Lord running a spiritual race. Paul was letting them know, listen, the prize that you're running for is not corruptible. Paul was letting them know, listen, the prize that you are working towards is not going to perish. But if you My God. To all the way to the end, if you endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ, then you know at the end a prize you shall receive. You know at the end a kind of glory you shall receive. You are promised that if you continue to press, if you continue mm. to hold on to God's unchanging hands, then the race you are running will not be in vain. And the crown that you receive will be one that does not perish. It is incorruptible. It cannot vanish because it was promised unto us. You know, walking with the Lord is not easy. But he never it would be a bed of roses. And there's constant reminders throughout the New Testament that we need to continue to put our body under subjection. I got to thinking about the race, Bishop. And you know, we say the race is not for the swift, nor the battle is it for the strong. But it is for those who can endure unto the end. I got to thinking about a race and I said, you know, in order for you to be a, a good athlete, praise God, you need to have some things in order, praise God. In order for you to be a good athlete, bless the Lord, you need to have a certain diet, praise God. Oh, you need to Jesus. Eat certain foods so that you don't put on certain weight. And I got to thinking in the spiritual. I said, a lot of times we give hints to feelings, a lot of times we allow, praise God, the things of the flesh to add on weight to us spiritually. Come so on, come on. It's an extra baggage. But as we're running this race, we cannot allow sin to weigh us down. As we are running this race, we cannot allow sin to corrupt our diet. But all we need to do is feast on the word of the Lord. And the word of the Lord will keep us lean and in order so that we can be fit enough to continue to run this race. We're talking about the race that Paul was talking about. My God. In order for you to be a good athlete in the Lord, you need to be able to be disciplined. There's self-control that needs to be in the mix. Because there's no way that you can run a race and not have discipline. Because the discipline is what will allow you to stay in your lane. The discipline is what will allow you to keep your pace. So we're talking about the race that we're running as children of God. I need to encourage us tonight. Listen, we can't think that this is easy, but we can't take it slight either. We need to seek the Lord every day. We need to pray every day. We need to read. We need to ask the Lord to continue to strengthen us. The endurance that we need for this race is not one we can give ourselves. The topic reminds us our body does not belong to us. And so every organ, every part of us, we can talk in the temple or even in the spiritual, praise God. In order for come us on, to be come on, come on. we need the Lord. I want to encourage us tonight. My body belongs to God. It's a reminder, it's a declaration. It's an affirmation. It's whatever way you want to look at it. But tonight you are making it clear to the enemy that my body belongs to God. And so I don't have time for the hearsay. My body belongs to God. So I don't have time for the waste. Uh, my body belongs to God. I don't have time for the gossip. My body belongs to God. I don't have time for the negativity. My body belongs to God. So there's no room for fear. My body belongs to God. There's no room for doubt. My body belongs to God. Hey, I'm about to start My body belongs to God. So there's no room for the temporal pain. My body belongs to God. And as oh, long as we can continue to declare that, then the enemy has no choice but to flee. You see, when you're running a race, there are others that are running along with you. 
But if you take the time to watch everybody else, then you're going to lose your focus. You see, Paul was focused. Although he had the thorn in his flesh that he talked about, and although he spoke about having to die daily, I need you to understand that Paul had a desire to serve the Lord. Our body belongs to the Lord. And that desire and zeal we have to serve the Lord will give us what we need to keep pressing. I want to encourage somebody tonight. You see, Corinth was found wanting in the balance. Corinth was found lacking in their spiritual walk. But tonight I want to encourage us to know that there was a price paid on Calvary for you, for I, for each and every one of us. And that price that was paid was a very hefty price, Bishop. And I need us to understand that we cannot let it go in vain. And so we need to continue to keep on pushing. Despite the adversity, keep on pushing. Despite the pain, the cramps, the aches, whatever it is we're going through, we need to keep pushing. Because the prize is not going to come halfway. But the prize is going to come when we've endured to the end. When you've reached the gates and you heard, well done, thou good and faithful servant, enter into your rest. That's when the race is over. So the prize we are looking for, the prize that we are working towards, we can only obtain it if we continue to remain diligent. We can only obtain it if we remain faithful. I need you to understand that Paul was faithful to the end. And that's why he can look at the church in Corinth. He can look at, look at the church in all those places, Rome and, 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 and Ephesus and all these places he went to. He was able to speak to them about the Lord because he continued to remain firm. He continued to remain firm flat-footed for the Lord. He endured persecution, yes. He endured hardship, yes. But I want to encourage you tonight to know that Paul made it through. And you and I are here today and we can make it through. You see, yes. God has never changed. He's the same God yesterday, today, and he'll forevermore be. And so Paul loved to talk about the race. I want to encourage you tonight. I want to encourage you to train. And some of you to say, Minister Pinnock, how do we train as children of God? I want to encourage you that the Bible is a part of your training. I want to encourage you, praise God, that your prayer life is a part of your training. I want to encourage you that fasting is a part of your training. I want to encourage you that fellowship with the brethren is even a part of your training. Because iron can sharpen iron, praise God. Countenance of one brightens another. Every week we come on here, we are brightening each other's countenance. Every week we come on here, we are sharpening each other's iron, praise God. And so let us continue to abide in the fold. I want to let you know there's nothing out there in the world for you. And although it might seem that thistles and thorns present themselves every time you stretch your hand to pick a rose, I want to encourage you to hold on. I want to encourage you to keep pressing. The Lord never promised us that it would be easy. He fell with the cross to show us that it would not be. But what I love about the Lord is he got up and he kept pushing. Saints of God, let us keep on. Yeah. The temple, your temple, your body is what houses the Holy Spirit. He cannot abide in a filthy vessel. You cannot pour new wine in an old vessel. And so My God. Us continue to strive to remain clean. Let us continue to strive to remain holy. It's not easy because we are all born in sin and shaped in iniquity. But when you put on the new man, the word tells us that all things have passed away and behold, all things become new. I want to encourage us tonight. Let us hold on to God's unchanging hands. I want to oh, no. tonight. Let us keep our hope on things that are eternal. I'm not going to take up any more time because I want to hear the woman of God, my auntie, my apostle green. And so tonight may heaven bless you all. Continue to run this race with patience. I want to encourage you to keep on going. I want yes. to, you to keep on going. I need you to understand that when the going gets rough, I encourage you to stop at the pit stop. You know, you watch a car race, Bishop, and you see that when the wheel might start to fall off, or when yes. the gas might be going a little lower, you see My the, God. the pit stop. I'm encouraging us to have a pit stop every day with God. I want to encourage us that every time you feel weak in the spirit and you feel like you do not have the strength to go on, I want to encourage you to take a stop at the pit stop. See, this is a part of the pit stop. This is a part of the pit stop. Your oh, yes. is a part of the pit stop because it's in those things 
that you will receive your strength to keep on going. God bless you all. Remember, Minister Pinnock loves each and every one, but I want to encourage us all to know that God loves us the best. Back to the moderator, my brother, in the care of the darling Holy Ghost. Come on, everybody, put your hands together. Amen for our vice president. Amen. Praise God, Minister Pinnock. And tonight, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Glory to God, she came. Listen, we have a word, you know. We, Amen. We, have, we, have, we have people that full Amen. of the word, you know. Amen. Jesus. Amen. Bless the Lord. I wish I can just put you out there on these big platforms so you can teach. <laughs> bless the Lord. <laughs> oh, glory to God. God but be the truly, glory. your words are reaching many. Glory Amen. To God. That's what it's so all about. Us. For you tonight. That's Praise what it's God all about. Bishop, the songwriter tells us, you know, he says, All over the world, all over the world, all over the world, all over the world. Oh, the preaching of the gospel will soon be over, soon be over. Soon be over, preaching of the gospel. Soon be over, all over the world. This is what we're doing. It's a part of it. I'm excited. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Amen. Come on, everybody. Put your hands together for our minister Pinnock. Coming up next is our chief apostle. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Our chief apostle. She's coming right on next. God bless. Oh, God. Come on, people of God, give God praise. Amen. Our chief apostle is coming next. Come on, our chief apostle is coming on next. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. God, tonight, on a full up a be a word. The word is coming from every angle tonight. Mighty God. <laughs> I am the only one. 
God. Lord God, when you wrap up in a Jesus. Oh, when you wrap up and tie up. When you tangle up. Ah, when you wrap up and tie up. Lord God, I don't feel like you can't run. You just feel like you want to run. You just feel like you want to jump all over the place. When you wrap up and tie up. 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 In our Jesus. Come on, people. Come on, people of God. So Jesus is sweet. Come on, people of God. So Jesus is sweet. Yes, Jesus is sweet. The blood of Jesus against us. Come on, say Jesus sweet. Yes, Jesus sweet, I know. Come on, people. When you wrap up and tie up. When you tangle up in him. Hey, you ever wrap up it? Glory to God, the night ever get cool. I wonder if I talk to nobody tonight, man. Hallelujah. You wonder when you get cool. Oh, Jesus, peace. We live in Canada. Oh, glory to God. But me no love me no love sheet. I me hate blanket. But there ever time you ever get cool. Hallelujah, glory to God. You just wrap up under your sheet. I want to talk to the people them tonight. When me I talk about. I want to wrap up and tie up. I wrap up under the sheet. I you feel good. Glory to God, you feel warm. You feel cozy under the blanket. You feel cozy underneath the sheet. Come on, the people of God. I saw when you wrap up in a Jesus. Hey, you wrap up. And tie up in a him. Jesus have mercy, not no sweet, so. Come on, the people of God, Jesus sweet. We're trying to get our chief apostle on tonight. But I don't know what the devil is trying with the life. Come on, everybody, plead the blood, plead the blood. Plead the blood tonight, plead the blood tonight, plead the blood tonight. Come on, people, plead the blood tonight, plead the blood. Come to church.
Chief Apostle have arrived. Mighty God. Amen. Amen. God, God bless have you. mercy. Bless you. Tonight, the devil will come for bust on shot for the devil tonight. Oh, glory to God. Oh, glory to God. Amen. Glory to God. My mother, she's no stranger to us. Glory Amen. to God. My chief, my bullies, my <laughs> everything. <laughs> I love this woman so much to my heart. Praise the name of Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Make welcome our chief apostle, Dr. Susan Green, tonight. In Jesus' name, praise God. Let me fix the camera. Amen. Yes, yes, yes. I'm having a little bit of difficulty, but God right. is able to. It's good that we are know. Yes. Amen. 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 I'm all right now. Yes, uh, yes. Amen, amen. Giving honor to the excellency of the most high God, the God which is above every other God. Mm. I'm here tonight just to exalt him. Praise God. Tonight I want less of self. Yes. And more and more of him tonight. Certainly, how can I forget to greet my senior mentor, my Lord and my Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen, also the one that had taught me how to take authority over flesh. Mm. Amen, that I allow flesh to die daily. Oh, God, because his word said, if I don't go, then the comforter will not come. Mm. Amen. And for me to acknowledge that my body belongeth unto God, I have to report tonight that I bear in my body the mark of Christ. Glory be to God, and then I really want to greet Amen, my bishop and son. Praise God, Bishop oh. Deshaines Campbell and his darling host, wife, amen, Minister Pastor Campbell, Minister Pinnock, amen, our evangelist Anarika, amen. Most of all, I want to greet our online viewers today tonight amen who often amen have this program going because if it was for us only yes we could have might have well close it down come on and praise the name of my jesus god, my god amen i am here to report amen victory in my process of going through Amen. Borrow these words from the writer that, amen, sit, amen, and pender these words through many a danger. Oh, tile and sneer, then we have already come. Tonight, embarking on such a powerful team, a team, amen, that we haven't heard for decades in the house of God. Mm. Amen. A team that nobody wants to embark on. A team that, yes, sometimes we do embark on it, but we do the opposite. Glory be to God. And if I may say tonight, each time I get a chance to put forth the word of Christ, Amen. I'm not only giving it out, but I'm also receiving it unto myself. Mm. Oh, praise the name of Jesus because I am so assured and I really would not want to preach in others. 
and then myself became an outcast. So tonight, amen, I love the team. Mm. Amen. It is one that, amen, some person would have put it aside as if it is paralytic. Amen. But tonight, I'm glad that it is in action. Glory be to God to remind myself and others that this body, amen, belongeth unto God. Amen. We are not the owner of these bodies. Mm. We are the holders of them. And whatever the Lord entrusts us, amen, it only means that, amen, we must do as the word of God says. Amen. I love the author. Amen. Oh, God, brother Paul. Mm. Amen. He was a persecutor. Other me, otherwise men that he was using his body to do the opposite of Christ. Oh, God Almighty, but the Bible said, Amen. God had struck him down on the road to Damascus. Amen. It is the same body, but it is a refurbished body. Yay. Oh, somebody help me praise God up in here. Ah, oh, we are the same person, but into a body that our mind is renewed and refurbished by Christ. Oh, God, Paul, remind us that I be here in my body, the mark of Christ. But how oh, many times in the pulpit, how oh, many times Help me, Holy Ghost. Oh, How yeah, many right. times, ah, oh, God Almighty, we realize that we are a body here yeah, with the head is Christ, but we are so wanton. Mm -mm. Come on, and praise God. We have too many Amahed Christians in the house of God. Praise God, they try to pull every nail. Come on and praise God. Some of us as women, amen, we see more man more than the nail that are born of stack. Come on, but yet still, we tell ourselves that we are a child of God. We need to put ourselves in other words under, oh God, this body under subjection. Paul said, oh God Almighty, I beseech us uh, that we present our bodies uh, as a living sacrifice. Uh, a sacrifice that is holy. Mm. A sacrifice that can use, amen, as a vessel of honor. A vessel that is able to be presented at the table of Christ. Jesus, Jesus. Oh, somebody praise God up in here. You see, Paul had uh, some experiences uh, and he said, Amen. At one point, uh, he cried out that he got a thorn in the flesh. Uh, amen. This damnable man, uh, the flesh, Amen. Uh, but when he complained, God said, uh, my grace is sufficient to keep Paul. And if it is sufficient to keep him, then I can report today that it is sufficient to keep I and you. God wants us to be a true church. David said to God, God, I need to build a temple. Oh, somebody mm. help me praise God up in here. God reminded David uh, that the temple that has been made with man's hand, he cannot dwell there in other world. He form us in his image and his likenesses. So our bodies, Christian people, Jesus. Let us bear in our body the mark of Christ. Mm -hmm. We have too many armors in the house of God. We have to be careful 
I heard so many speakers talk about the outside. Amen. The people watching their outside. But if your outside doesn't represent Christ, then I start to tell somebody the inside can't be Christ like. Wow. Because if he if he's on the inside, then he's gonna work on the outside, and then it must bring a change. Paul said to the Corinthians, if any man be in Christ, is a new creation, is a new creature. Mm. In other words. If I had an old pants and the new one get here, hey. I can't use a piece of the old material to patch the new one. Because even if it's the same color, there will be a difference. Yes, sir. My God. And sometimes the difference are visual, can easily visualize that something was wrong there. So when we become a new creature, praise God, all things must be passed away. If you was a homosexual, then you gotta put it away. If you are a liar, you gotta put it away. If your foot may shift to mischief, you gotta put it away. Come on and praise the name of Jesus. We have to allow this flesh to die daily. Die daily, man. Come on and praise the name of Jesus. I fully understand. Amen. That there is a wrestle between the flesh and the spirit. Come on and praise the name of Jesus. But can I tell you, if two women fight, the stronger one go win. Yes. Come on and praise God. So if the fleshy part of us, amen, is more powerful than the spiritual part of us, we are up for trouble. Jesus, Jesus. Because you know what? The spiritual man in us will die. Oh, Jesus. Come on and praise God. Mm. Paul said, I'm mortified. This body, in other words, I kill it on a daily basis. Christian representing Christ, sex out of marriage is sin. It's flesh. It is called fornication. Married man with another woman is called flesh. It is called, oh God Almighty, adultery. Running to the warrior man is flesh. It is called witchcraft. Remember the body belongs to God. Glory to God. Remember the body belongs to God. Jesus. The year of our head is numbered. Job has been through a whole lot. But what did he say? Glory be to God. He said, I know that my Redeemer liveth. And I will stand with him. And after the skin worm destroyed this body. Yet in my faith, I shall see God. And he didn't stop there. He said, I'll wait until my change come. Mm, 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 mm. Come on, somebody. Can I speak up in here tonight? Jesus, come on. Your now. body belongeth unto Christ. And I want to tell you, God, don't take pleasure in dirty attitudes. My God. God, don't take pleasure in dirty vessels. Let us stop fooling ourselves. Realizing that it forms us in his images and his likenesses. Otherwise, he wants us to represent him. Christ, no, no sin. Oh, Jesus. Mm -mm. 
Mm -mm, my God. And if we, I'm not going to say we are going to get it right every day. Come on, man. Come on. Sometimes we slip. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we will fall. But what do we do when it's, it's that time? When God removed the edge of, around, from around you, what do you do in your moment of edge moving? When the edge is moved from around you, can God depend on you? My God. My God. God removed the edge from around Job. And everything that Job was going through, God said he's perfect and upright in us. And yet all our bodies belong unto God. We're going to treat it as an holy body. Oh, glory be to God. A lot of person think he's only sex alone mess up his body. Come on and talk to me now. Come on and praise God. Yes. It mess up his body big time too. But we have other little things that mess the body up. Because anything that is not Christ-like is a mess. Mm -mm, mm -mm. You see what David did? They, I want you to realize that David did still have an in priestly garment. Mm -mm, mm -mm. David was still reigning as king. But not until Nathan get to David and said unto him, you are a murderer in parables so we have to be careful or we condemn somebody because we might have well condemn ourselves and the man of god said a man like that should be put to dead come on and praise god we have to be careful as men what we do to ourselves mm -mm. we have to be careful as women what we do to ourselves before we step out there to get it on and to deck ourselves, some of us as Christians still eating off a Jezebel table. Some of us still decking ourselves in Jezebel's apparel. We are more of the world and less of Christ. But we got to realize that the Bible said that we are in this world, but we are not of this world. A writer said, I don't want to be subjected to this world. Mm -hmm. Come on and praise the name of Jesus. He said in this world, so we must be holy because he is an holy God. It is all good and right when some people write to offer and preach holiness. It is all good and right when some people write you off because you know money, money. Lord God, I get rude. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Woo! It is all good and well when people you know, say, you yeah, pastor, but you have a trail alone and girl. Don't I want to come up. But you have to realize that. Amen. You will be standing at the judgment bar and you will be giving an account for this. You have some of us, we are so disobedient in the house of God. But yet still we are jumping a spirit and a speaking tongues. And be reminded that a double-minded person cannot please God. Unstable man, unstable. Come on and praise God. And not just that you cannot serve two masters. Mm. The Bible said if you have two masters, you're going to love one and hate the other. Paul looked into the churches. Amen. And he asked a very vital question. Come on and praise the name of Jesus. Amen in the passage of scripture that was given. Amen, especially in Corinthians 9 and verse, amen, 27. 
He said, but I keep my, keep under my body and bear it and bring it into subjection. Lest by any mean, when I have preached to others, myself become an outcast. My God, my God. This world is to us as preachers. Yeah, because a lot, himself. Of, yes. a lot of us love to preach on others. Yes. And we can't preach to ourselves. Jesus. Oh, God Almighty, somebody help me up in here. A lot of us <laughs> preach to others. But we can't minister to ourselves. But can I say to us as leaders that one day he'll have a surprise for it. <laughs> and that same day heaven will also have a surprise for us. Come on and praise the name of Jesus. Come on and praise the name of Jesus. We got to let go and let God. We have to put this old dominable man under subjection. Can we be reminded of these old songs? We walk as we like. Mm -mm. We talk as we like. My God. But can we go to heaven as we like? We have some leaders. As long as them have some against you, they walk and they build a mob against you. Yes. Come yes. on and pray in the name of Jesus. You better, you better preach. And they mislead God's people. And the way they mislead them, they don't lead them into our truth. Come on and praise God. A lot of us who stand in the pulpit that are malice keepers, we need to get out of the pulpit, go get it right. Mm. Remember that our body is God's temple. And he reminds us that in the temple, amen, we can't render evil for evil. We are told God Almighty use good to beat evil. Our bodies come on church. Whatever is on the outside should be representing Christ. Come on and praise the name of Jesus. Especially in our faith. Mm. For this cause, I, Paul, a prisoner, prisoner. of Jesus Christ My for God. the Gentiles. Come on and praise God, the man. A prisoner. Mm. Oh, you become a prisoner. Let me get in the physical realms for five minutes. Mm. When somebody has done wrong, amen, and they throw them into prison. Amen, there's a God. That set up there. And they tell them when to go sleep. They tell them when to wake up. They tell them how to get. I can't talk because I was once a prisoner. Hey. Oh, Jesus. So some, no matter how old you is. And no matter how old you are. When a pass are present. When you become a prisoner. Somebody set over you. That is called authority. Come on and praise the name of Jesus. And you have to obey those that set over you. So when Paul become a prisoner of the Lord Jesus Christ, it only means that, amen, he bring his body under subjection so that he can reach the Gentiles. Come on and praise God. Some of us, we can't even reach the next door neighbor. Mm -mm. Because it's only when we dress up in a church clothes, somebody can identify that we are going to church. But the writer said, may the life that I live mm -mm. speaks for me. Come on and praise God. But I want to say to some of us as shepherd, there's a war. And when God dip his bow and bend it, it's going to be 
weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth. We have to give every account to even the outer part of our bodies. Jesus. Come on and praise God. Me hear people are talking about the heart of God. The whole body of God. Your finger, your eye, your mouth, your ears, the whole entire body belongs to God. He asks us to maintain our hearts. David had messed up with Uriah's wife. And not just that, and if I did all the heart God wants, then you would have still had David we at the place where he ought to be. Because if said David was a man of his own heart. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Glory be to God. Bishop Campbell, I don't have a lot of friends in the gospel. Me neither, me neither, me neither, my because mother, me neither. Because people don't like green. Because mm -hmm. they claim to send green. Go on like she too holy. They don't but like Campbell neither. From a dirty life to a life of holiness. Jesus. Come on and praise God. And I refuse to go back as I act to my wala. And I dog to my vomits. And while David was there, having a fine time. Mm. And some of us bishop apostles, deacons and members, having a fine time. But God say enough is enough. So I want to say to, to somebody in my closing tonight, be careful how you treat God, buddy. Mm. Be reminded tonight that it is not yours. You are only a user. You are only a keeper. Keep it well. He's coming back for a church without spot nor wrinkle. Oh my God. There's no time to iron it out when he got here. No. So we got to do it now. And when God said to Nathan, I want you to go down to David and give him a parable. Tonight you're not getting it in parable. Amen. When Bishop Deshane was jumping and singing and rejoicing, the life did fall over a hundred and had people. Yes, my God. But that was the emotional part of it. Lord of mercy. And I watched him live take time by uh, Minister Pinock to come. Everybody get silent, cool and still. Because Jim Wover. Oh, Jesus. My God. Jim is over. But you know what? The Bible said that the bodily exercise, it profits only a little bit. But I think a world like this tonight, the life should be overflowing. Yes, yes. Because you want to know how to keep your body, how to preserve your body. Come on and praise God. And when the time comes for a word, I realize it going down. But you know what? God helps some of you with the jumping spirit. <laughs> God helps some of us, the one only we have the jumping spirit. My God, my God. Because David has realized that the jumping alone couldn't help him. He danced in the presence of God until his request came through. But yes. he said, that right have I hidden in uh, my heart that I may not sin against God. And he go back in 119 Psalms and the latter verse, and he said, we are with a young man cleanse their ways. Mm. The only way green can be clean 
The only way Bishop Deshane Campbell can be clean. The only way Minister Pinnock can elaborate so well on God's word. The, the only way God. must be green is only by taking either to the, the word, word of, of God. God. Come on. And one day David had took heed to the word of God. And when he realized where he got messed up, yeah, some people were coming around them out their conscience and they're not dead. Mm -mm. Yeah, some spiritual termite in the house of God. Because when they come, they come to eat the four walls of the building. Jesus. Because they follow not instruction, but they may go ahead and they may talk about God. Jesus. Hold but they didn't get the realization that, amen, as a murderer, amen, and as an adulterer, God was displeased. You don't think you're going to beat up Nathan Fierce? You know, thinking gonna tell Nathan, say, look here, get out of my face. I am the king. Mm -hmm. That's why I said, mm -hmm. leader, when you tell member, you know who you're talking to. Hey. You're talking to the bishop. You're talking, who is the bishop? The servant is not greater than the master. Now the master, the servant. And the Bible says, a little child shall lead us. Some of us as leaders, amen, we need to humble ourselves. And David went down in sackcloth and ashes. Some of us will look for some scriptures to suit ourselves. Mm. But David cried out in my closing, It is against thee, God, that I have sinned and done this wickedness in your sight. God, I realize that this body belongs unto you. But I'm going to ask you to create in me a new clean heart. Is there somebody tonight get to the place where we want to acknowledge that our bodies is Christ's temple and we mess it up? Amen. There is still a fountain that filled with this blood. All we need to do is plunge beneath the flood and we will lose all the guilty stain. And he said, it is only against thee and thee have I sin, Lord. And done this wickedness in our sight. Jesus. Sometimes the person where you see yesterday, tomorrow you see them, you wonder for them, you see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because everything about them is changed. But I want to say to us who desire to hold the bloodstained banner eye, let's not get addicted to this world. And continue to be transformed by the renewing of our mind. Oh, glory be to God. I want to thank you tonight for this opportunity. My God. That reminds me. I don't want him, I don't care who don't want to take it, Bishop. Mm -mm. It reminds me that I have to be careful with this body. Yes. Yes. It has to remind me how I dress this body. It reminds me how I use this body. It reminded me that it's not what I ate defiled the body, but what coming out. Jesus. And David said, restore unto me the joy of my salvation. In other words, the questions from people's spirit. They get about and the fornication better they have a whole lot of spirit. Where you get it from? Me want to ask a question. Because the day you had a dirty bottle and throw something that is clean in it, the time you realize that the bottle is dirty, all you have to do is dispose it. So tonight, sir, God ever bless you. Bless God. For bless reminding me how to take care of God's temper. Because a wally we dress up in church, you know. A wally we dress up with self, you know. But when you get on the inside, it is more. Jesus. But tonight, I know that the Lord still have that perpetual light. 
So I'm gonna ask him to allow me to turn it on my inside and see if there is any wicked ways in me because I want this body to be presentable on the last day. I said to the church yesterday, and I'm saying it tonight, when we meet at the judgment bar, what a sorrow, what a woe. Because we can do everything here. But what about when the time come? Will you hear, well done, my good and faithful servant? Or will we hear, depart from me, I know you're not. Tonight, I want to say to you, Bishop, thank you for these words. My God. Words like these help me to walk. All when me the plan for run off a truck. Yes. I have to go to the garage and call for the spiritual mechanic, which is Jesus Christ through the Holy Ghost, and check every lugs on my wheels. My God. Check out the engine. And if there's a knocking somewhere, I would have to find it out. Yes. Because I am not the old of this body. My God. I am not my own. I belong it unto Jesus. Tonight, God ever bless you, sir. Indeed, it's not a team for nobody speaking tongues. Mm. Indeed, it's not a team for no Holy Ghost visit with but come with one wire brush. Mm. Because somehow we need to be scared like grunts. Mm. 